Well, if you have your Bibles, take them and open them to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 9, here this afternoon. It's good to have each of you with us here this afternoon. I thank you for coming. Merci d'être venu. Also want to thank your pastor, je le remercie votre pasteur, for inviting me to come. De, de m'avoir invité. And so I've enjoyed my time here. Je, ça m'a plu d'être parmi vous. He, he and his wife have been very good hosts. Lui et sa femme ont été des, des bons hôtes. So, and I, I enjoy having you as my friends. Et ça, ça m'a plu de que vous êtes mes amis. Uh, we may have a language uh, barrier, On peut avoir la barrière de la langue. but so far we've been getting along okay. Là, on très bien. By the grace of God. <laughs> well, here this afternoon, Ici, cet après-midi, we're going to think about something very important. Nous quelque chose très important. And we're going to answer the question, on va répondre à la question where do we go to find the truth? Où est-ce qu'on allait pour trouver la vérité? So if you have your Bible open, si votre Bible est ouverte, let's read verses 1 through 3. On nous allons lire verset 1 à 3, Jérémie chapitre 9, verset 1. Oh, si ma tête était remplie d'eau, si mes yeux étaient une source de larmes, je pleurais jour et nuit. Les morts de la fille de mon peuple. Oh, si j'avais au désert une cabane de voyageurs, j'abandonnerais mon peuple, je m'en éloignerais, car ce sont tous des adultères. C'est une troupe de perfides. Ils ont la langue tendue comme un arc et lancent le mensonge. Ce n'est pas par la vérité qu'ils sont puissants dans le pays, car ils Ils vont de méchanceté en méchanceté et ils ne connaissent pas et ne me connaissent pas, dit l'Éternel. Now let's read verses 13 through 16. Maintenant, lisons verset 13 jusqu'au verset 16. L'Éternel dit, c'est parce qu'ils ont abandonné ma loi que j'avais mis devant eux, parce qu'ils n'ont point écouté ma loi et qu'ils ne l'ont point suivi parce qu'ils ont suivi les penchants de leur cœur et qu'ils ont allé après les balles comme leur père le leur ont appris. C'est pourquoi ainsi parle l'Éternel des armées de Dieu d'Israël. Voici, je vais nourrir ce peuple d'absinthe. Je lui ferai boire les eaux empoisonnées car je les disciples disperserai parmi les nations que n'ont connu ni eux ni leur père. Je, euh, j'enverrai derrière eux les paix jusqu'à ce que je les ai exterminés. Let's pray and we'll get started. Prions et on commence. Father, we thank you for this day. Notre père, merci pour cette journée. And the privilege to be in your house. Et le privilège d'être dans ta maison. And Father, we pray as we look into the word of God. Notre père, nous te prions en regardant dans ta parole. Here this afternoon. Ici cet après-midi that you would speak to our hearts. Help us to understand where we can find the truth and be dedicated to wanting it all the days of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The prophet Jeremiah was called of God to minister to the people of Israel who primarily made up the southern kingdom of Judah. His ministry spanned a time of great spiritual darkness in, in the nation's history. Dans la nation, dans l'histoire de la nation d'Israël. In a lot of ways, in a beaucoup de, de façon, what was going on ce as, qui se passait là, as we read it here in Jeremiah, quand on lit ici à Jérémie chapitre 9, is the reflection c'est le reflet of what is taking place de ce qui s'est passé in your nation of France. Dans notre nation de la France. For example, Par exemple, verse 3, verset 3, gives us three characteristics or four characteristics of what was taking place. Notice if you would please, at the beginning of the verse, the Bible says, and they bend their tongues 
like their bow comme un arc for lines et lance de mensonge so there was great lying going de on en train de se passer throughout the nation of judah dans la, dans la nation de judah lying deception de, de mensonge de déception characterized the society in general c'était le caractère de la société en général this characteristic cette caractéristique was so prevalent et c'est tellement prédominant that is mentioned que c'est mentionné here in the bible ici dans la bible in verse 3 en verset 3 verse 4 verset 4 verse 5 verset 5 verse 6 verset 6 verse 8 verset 8 you read all of those verses si vous lisez tous ces versets and you realize there was a lot of lying and deception going on il y avait beaucoup de mensonges et de déceptions qui se passaient Verse 4, Verse 4 lets us know de, uh, de that lying was so prevalent si among the culture, dans la culture that they shouldn't trust what anyone said to them. Notice what it says. Take ye heed. Uh, que garde. It's a warning. He says, take ye heed of everyone his neighbor. Uh, and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will uh, utterly supplant. And every neighbor will walk with slanders. And so there was a great lying, spirit of lying that was taking place. And I'm sure glad to tell you here this afternoon that that is not true of God. When God speaks to us through His Word, He always tells us the truth. He never speaks a lie. And He always keeps His promises. Take your Bibles and hold Jeremiah. Go with me to Numbers chapter 23. In Numbers chapter 23, I want you to notice in verse 19, and look at the very beginning of the verse, the Bible says, God is not a man that he should lie. Isn't that a wonderful truth about God? God never lies. The verse goes on to say, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, a dit, and shall he not do it? Ne le -il pas? Or hath he spoken, ce a déclaré, and shall he not make it good? Ne le -il pas? So God is a God Dieu est un Dieu who always tells us the truth. Et, et, et toujours la vérité. If God ever told us a lie, si Dieu nous mentait, he would not be righteous. Il plus juste. He would not be holy. Il ne pas saint. He would not be God. Il ne pas Dieu. God always speaks the truth. Dieu dit toujours la vérité. Remember the verse we saw earlier this morning? Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 4. Verse 4. He, God, Lui, Dieu, is the rock. C'est le rocher. Remember the Bible says? La Bible dit, he is without iniquity. Il est sans iniquité. The verse ends by saying, en disant, He is a God of truth. C'est un, un Dieu de vérité. Write down some references. Notez ces références. Psalm 31, 5. Psalm 31, verse 5. We'll not turn there, but just write it down and look it up later. On va pas prendre le temps de chercher, simplement notez le et cherchez le après. Psalm 31, 5. Psalm 31, verse 5. Isaiah 65, 16. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 16. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 9. Zechariah 8, verse 9. All those verses are letting us, letting us know that God is a God of truth. Therefore, we can believe what God says. And Psalm 86 and verse 15. Psalm 86, verses, uh, the Bible tells us that God is plenteous in mercy and truth. So flip back to Jeremiah chapter 9. 
understand the culture of Judah. Comprendre bien la culture de Judas. The people were bent on lying. Les gens étaient tordus vers le mensonge. Instead of telling the truth. Au lieu de dire la vérité. Now verse 3. Verset 3. Notice what the verse goes on to say. Remarquons ce que dit la suite du verset. The verse goes on to say, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. Ce n'est pas par la vérité qu'ils sont puissants dans le pays. The word valiant in the verse le, le mot vaillant dans, dans le verset means to be strong or mighty. Ça veut dire fort, puissant ou grand. It contains the idea of being willing to stand up and speak out for the truth. Pour la vérité. So get in your mind a mental picture in the image mental of what was taking place in that nation. There were lies being propagated. You couldn't trust anything anyone was saying. You couldn't find anyone who was willing to stand up and speak out for the truth. It was a sad state of affairs. Un état triste des affaires. The prophet Isaiah, le prophète Isaïe, ministered a mini, a un ministère, 60 years 60 ans before Jeremiah. Avant Jérémie. And he said in Isaiah 59, 14, truth had fallen in the streets. La, la vérité est tombée dans la rue. It had become a lost and forgotten thing. And people's attitude toward the truth was much like that of Pilate. In John 18:38, when he asked Jesus, "What is the truth?" There are many people in our world today, especially in France, who view truth. Qui, qui la vérité, as some sort of nebulous thing chose vague, floating around out there somewhere. Qui, qui flotte dans la, la, la quelque part. But you can't necessarily know it. Mais on peut pas le And if you find it, si on le trouve, you may find it by accident. Ah, vous le trouvez par accident. And you'll never know when you have it. Et vous ne saurez jamais si vous l'avez. You see, there are many people in our world who do not believe in a rational, objective, objective, absolute truth. Yet those same people know one plus one always equals 20. <laughs> Oui. N'est-ce pas? Non. 1 plus 1 always equals 1 plus 1 égale toujours 2. I'm glad you know your math. Ah, C'est bien que vous connaissez la, la math. The sun always rises in the east. Le soleil se lève toujours dans l'est. It always sets in the Et ça se couche dans west. l'ouest. True? N'est-ce pas? Absolute truth. C'est la vérité sûre. Absolute truth, isn't it? C'est vérité absolue. If you want to go to Brussels, si vous allez à Bruxelles, you head north. Vous allez vers le nord. If you want to go to Paris, vous allez à Paris, you go south. On va vers le sud. You're not going to go to Paris, vous n'allez pas à Paris, if you head west. Si, si on va vers l'ouest. There was no one il y a personne in Judah, en Juda who was willing to stand up qui était prêt à se lever and speak out et parler the truth. la vérité. Verse three. Verset 3. Et le verset continue. And it tells us, et ça nous dit not only was there no one there being valiant for the truth, but it tells us that the people in general were proceeding from evil to evil. That is a biblical way 
of saying à Dieu that immorality l'immoralité and moral impurity et l'impurité had beset the culture avait pris la culture it was very similar c'est très similaire to the days of Noah le jour de Noé when God saw Quand Dieu a vu that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and every imagination of the thoughts et toute de, of, de his, of his heart de son coeur, was only evil continually. So if we si nous, had been living in Judah en Juda, at that time, à ce moment-là, we would have seen Lies were prevalent. Les mensonges étaient répandus. No one was standing for the truth. Person standing for the verity. The culture was immersed. The culture was immersed in immorality. Dans l'immoralité. And moral impurity. Et l'impurité morale. Everywhere we would have turned. Partout où on se tourne. We would have seen corruption. Nous avons vu la corruption. We would have seen evil. Nous avons vu la méchanceté. We would have seen immoral behavior Nous as a way of life. Nous avons vu l'immoralité comme un moyen de façon de vivre. It's sort of like our world today. Un peu comme notre monde aujourd'hui. Where sexually transmitted diseases are running rampant. Où les maladies uh, transmises sexuellement sont uh, très répandues. Our culture, notre culture, morally speaking, moralement parlant, is crumbling all around us. And so it was a very challenging time in the history of the nation of Israel. Dans la nation d'Israël. Then look in verse 3 once again. Puis en verse 3 encore. The fourth characteristic. Quatre chose, chose caractéristique. At the end of the verse. Dans cette verse. The Bible says. La Bible dit. They know not me. Ils ne me connaissent pas. Saith the Lord. Dit l'Éternel. They did not even know their God. Ils ne connaissent même pas leur Dieu. Now I don't know that we can put these characteristics. Je sais pas si on peut mettre ces caractéristiques. In degrees of badness. Dans, dans les degrés de, de, d'être mauvais. Take all four and say which one's the worst. Le, lesquels est le, le pire? But I do believe Et je crois that the last characteristic, the characteristic is very much vraiment tied to the other three. C'est lié aux deux, trois autres. Stop and think about it. Arrêtons et réfléchir. The people of Judah, la légende de Judas, were God's chosen people. C'est le peuple choisi par Dieu. Oui, n'est-ce pas? God had called them Dieu les avait appelés to be a distinct people on the face of the earth. Être un peuple distinct sur la face de la terre. To be God's witness de le témoignage de Dieu to other nations. À d'autres nations. And they had gotten themselves et ils, ils se sont embobinés into such a, a moral and spiritual condition dans une condition morale, immorale et that they did not even know their God. I think it is fair to say, and I'm not trying to be critical, but I think it's fair to say, there are multitudes in France today who do not know God. How did Judah Comment vous le savez? get in that condition? Ils sont arrivés dans cette condition. It's sad. C'est triste. The chosen people of God. Le peuple choisi de Dieu. The people who were to represent God. Ceux qui devaient représenter Dieu. To the world. Au monde. Their lives are filled with lies. Leur vie était remplie de mensonges. They are morally corrupt. Moralement, ils sont corrompus. No one's being valiant for the truth. Personne n'est puissant pour la vérité. And now they don't even know their God. Et maintenant, ils ne connaissent même plus leur Dieu. How did they get into such a mess? Comment ils sont arrivés dans un tel bagage? Verses 13 through 16. Verses 13 à 16, nous le dit. And we're going to sum up the dilemma. On va faire un sommaire de cette situation difficile. By using four words. On utilise quatre mots. First of all, we're going to use the word forsaken. On va penser le premier mot, c'est abandonner. Look in verse 13. Verset 13. 
Verse 13 says, Verset 13 dit, And the Lord saith, et dit, Because they have forsaken my law, parce qu ils, ils ont abandonné which, ma loi, which I set before them, que mise devant eux, and have not obeyed my voice, parce ils point écouté ma voix, neither walked therein. Et ils ne ont point suivi. So the first thing that we see that they had done, is that they had forsaken the law of God. Ils ont abandonné la, la loi de Dieu. And they had turned an ear, a deaf ear of disobedience to their God. Et ils ont avec un oreille sourde à vers le Dieu. Now let me ask you a question. Je vous pose une question. Does that sound familiar? Est-ce que c'est familier? To the people around you. De les gens autour de, de vous. Are there people in this nation? Est-ce que les gens dans cette nation? Who are not listening to God. Qui n'écoutent pas Dieu. They do not obey God. Ils n'obéissent pas Dieu. And so we see the children of Judah. Nous voyons le peuple de Judas. Had forsaken God's law. Ils avaient abandonné la loi de, de, de Dieu. And were walking in disobedience. Ils marchaient dans la désobéissance envers Dieu. But number two. Numéro deux. We'll use the word trusted. On va utiliser le mot euh, as we, confiance. As we look in verse 14. Verset 14. The Bible says this. La Bible dit ceci. But have walked after the imagination of their own heart. Ils ont suivi le penchant de leur cœur. So they have forsaken the law of God. Abandonné la loi de Dieu. They are living in disobedience to Et God. Ils vivent en à Dieu. And now they have come to the place where they are trusting in themselves rather than trusting in God. Au lieu de, de, de faire confiance en Dieu. They're walking after their own uh, their own imagination. Ils suivent les pensions de leur cœur. Their own way. Leur propre uh, chemin. Uh, that's the same thing that we see taking place today. C'est ce qu'on voit ce qui se passe aujourd'hui. Multitudes of people. Une multitude de des gens. Walking after their own wisdom. Ils marchent après leur propre sagesse. After their own might. Après leur, leur propre puissance. After their own strength. Après le, 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 leur, leur propre capacité. After their own ways, Après le, le propre chemin, they thought they knew how to live life better than God. Mieux que Dieu. We don't need God. On n'a pas besoin de Dieu. We can handle life on our own. Nous pouvons se débrouiller tout seul. Isn't that how your culture is living? N'est-ce pas comme notre culture aujourd'hui? Oui. N'est-ce pas? Yet a little later on in the chapter. Un peu plus loin dans ce chapitre. In verses 23 and 24. Verse 23, verse 24. God says this. Dieu dit ceci. Ainsi parle l'Éternel que le sage ne se glorifie pas dans sa sagesse. Que le fort ne se glorifie pas dans sa force, que le riche ne se glorifie pas dans sa richesse. So these verses Donc, dans ces versets, are warning us les avertis not to glory de ne pas se glorifier in our talent, dans notre talent, not to glory de ne pas se glorifier in our abilities, dans nos capacités, not to glory de ne pas se glorifier in our degrees, dans, dans nos diplômes. Not to glory. Ne pas se glorifier in our positions. Dans nos positions. Not to glory. Ne pas se glorifier in our intellect. Dans notre intellect. Not to glory. Ne pas se glorifier in our prestige. Dans notre prestige. Not to glory. Ne pas se glorifier in our giftedness. Dans notre euh, dans nos dons. If we're going to glory in anything, si on doit se glorifier en quelque chose, may we glory. Que on se glorifie in understanding. En comprenant and knowing our God. En connaissant notre Dieu. They come to the place. Ils arrivent au point. We don't need God. On n'a pas besoin de Dieu. We can trust ourselves. On peut faire confiance en soi. We're sufficient. On est suffisant. Then notice if you would please. On va combien? Back in verse 14. En verset 14. The third word we'll use. Le troisième mot qu'on va utiliser. Is, is the word rejected. Rejeté. They had rejected the one true living God of the Bible. Ils avaient rejeté le, le, le vrai Dieu de la Bible. In favor of the would-be gods of men. En, en faveur des faux dieux des hommes. Notice uh, verse 14. Verse 14. Uh, 
the beginning of the verse talks about walking after their own imagination. But the last half of the verse speaks of the fact that they have gone after Balaam. Which their fathers taught them. So now we see them forsaking, forsaking their God and going after false gods. Going after Balaam. Now remember what we learned about false gods the other day. False gods, remember, Psalm 135, they have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they, but they cannot hear. They have a mouth, but they cannot speak. If you have a God, they cannot see you, they cannot hear you, they cannot speak to you, what good is that God? It's dead. It's a dead idol. Can an idol God do anything for us? And they had gone after idols. Et ils ont poursuivi les idoles. After Baal. Après Baal. I don't know about your nation. Je ne sais pas pour votre nation. But in our nation in America. Notre nation en Amérique. There is a huge resurgence. Il y a une grande poussée. Of people turning to false gods. Les gens se tournent vers les faux dieux. Even even même les idoles. Remember, Appelons-nous, God is a God of light. Dieu est un Dieu de, de, de lumière. When you start going away from God, quand on s'éloigne de Dieu, you go away from the light. On s'éloigne de la lumière. And when you go away from the light, quand on s'éloigne de la lumière, you go into darkness. On entre dans les ténèbres. And when you go into darkness, quand on est dans les ténèbres, you begin to worship false gods. Et vous commencez à adorer les faux dieux. Even to the extent point of embracing idols. Avec les idoles. The nation of Judah, La nation de Judah was in dire straits. Dans une, une situation. The fourth word that we'll think about is the word thought. Le mot pensée. And this idea that I'm going to give you cette idée que je vais vous donner, is more implied in the text, est plus impliqué dans le text than stated in the text. Que, que, que dans le text. They were thinking Ils étaient dans la that the true living God of the Bible, que le vrai Dieu vivant de la Bible would never judge them ne, ne jamais les juger. or hold them accountable for their actions. Le de, de leurs actions. They thought they could turn to their own way. Parce qu'ils pouvaient suivre leur Trust in themselves. Go after Balaam. Aller après les Bâles. And God would not intervene. Et que Dieu ne ferait rien. But they were wrong. Mais ils se trompaient. Because as you read this passage, Quand of Scripture, passage Écriture, we realize that God was getting ready que Dieu se préparait to judge the nation of Judah. À juger la nation de Judah. Notice verses 15 and 16. Verse 15, verse 16. C'est pourquoi ainsi parle l'Éternel des armées, le Dieu d'Israël. Voici, je vais nourrir ce peuple d'absent. Je, je, et je lui ferai boire les eaux empoisonnées. Je les disperserai parmi les nations que n'ont connues ni eux, ni leurs pères. Et j'enverrai derrière eux l'épée jusqu'à ce que je, je les ai exterminés. So we see Donc, ici, that God was getting ready to bring judgment upon the nation of de, Judah. De la there are plenty of people de monde in the world today dans le monde who think that they can ignore God, qui qui Dieu, that they can live however they want to live, de de that they can handle life on their own. Qui peut, uh, la vie toute seule. They don't need God. Ils ne pensent pas qu'ils ont besoin de Dieu. They can even embrace false gods. Ils peuvent même à, à adopter les faux dieux. But a God, a loving God, Mais un Dieu d'amour, will never judge me. Ne, ne devra jamais me juger. They are wrong. Ils se trompent. The Bible tells us. La Bible dit 
There's a coming day Il y a un jour when Jesus Christ Christ is going to judge the world. Va juger le monde. The quick, the, the living, le, le, le vivant, and the dead and at his appearing and keeping. That's 2 Timothy chapter 4. So we see Donc, voyons, that the nation of Judah, la nation de Judah was in a real mess. Était dans un vrai Some of you have been asking me about America. Our nation is in a big mess. You can pray for us. We're in a mess. We are forsaking God's laws. We are trusting in ourselves. We are rejecting the one true living God, the Bible. And we have multitudes in our nation that do not believe that God will judge us. America today is on the road to God's judgment. Just like we see in this passage. So that brings us Ça nous amène to the issue of why we've gathered here today. De la question pourquoi nous sommes ici aujourd'hui. Where do we go to find the truth? Allons-nous pour trouver la vérité? We're in France. Où en France? Can you go to find the truth? Vous pouvez aller pour trouver la vérité. We're in America. Où en Amérique? Can you go to find the truth? Allez, pour trouver la vérité. It's a crisis. C'est une crise. A real crisis. Une vraie crise. And so I give you three thoughts. Je vais vous donner trois pensées. And pay careful attention. Et attend, faites bien attention. Number one. Numéro un. We can always turn to God. On peut toujours se tourner vers Dieu. And His Word. Et sa parole. Always remember that. Rappelons-vous toujours de ça. No matter how bad things get in our world, we can always turn to God and His Word. Take your Bible, turn to John chapter 17. John chapter 17. John chapter 17. In John chapter 17, look in your Bible, please. John 17, we're going to look in the Bible. In verse 17. Verse 17. This is part of a high priestly prayer that Jesus was praying. Ici, c'est une partie d'une prière de le souverain sacrificateur de Jésus. He was praying on behalf of believers. Il prie en faveur des croyants. And he's asking the Father to sanctify us. So they sanctify. Verse 17, he says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify them by thy verity. Thy word is truth. Ta parole est la vérité. Can you say those last four words with me? Est-ce que vous dire ces derniers mots avec nous? Thy word is truth. Ta parole est la vérité. Ta Where can we go to get the truth? Remember Numbers 23, 19? God is not a man. Dieu n'est pas un homme that he should lie. Qui pour mentir. Who speaks to us through the Bible? Qui nous parle à travers la Bible? God does. Dieu. So is it truth? Donc est-ce que c'est vérité? It's truth, isn't it? Oui, c'est la vérité. We can always turn to the Bible. Nous pouvons toujours tourner vers la vérité. To find the truth. Pour trouver la vérité. Write down Psalm chapter 19. Note le Psalm 19. Verse 9. Verse 9. Don't turn there. Just write it down. Psalm 19, verse 19, verse 19. The Bible tells us the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. 
When it speaks of the judgments of Nous the Lord, de de Ténèbre, it's just a biblical way of saying dire, the Word of God. La parole de Dieu. The Word of God is true la parole de Dieu est vrai, and righteous altogether. Et and here today, ah, ici, I want you to understand je veux que vous comprenez that our God que notre Dieu is a God of truth. Est un Dieu de vérité. And if you do not know Et si vous ne connaissez pas, personally, personally that God of truth the Dieu de, de vérité, for yourself, pour vous we come to know that God nous à connaître ce Dieu, through the one or celui who said, qui a dit, I am the way, je suis le chemin, the truth, la vérité, and the life. Et la vie. John 14. Jean, chapitre 14. Take your Bibles and turn there. Je suis Jean, chapitre 14. John chapter 14 and verse 6. Jean, chapitre 14 et verset 6. Jesus says this. Jésus dit ceci. I am the way, je suis le chemin, the truth, la vérité, and the life. Et la vie. Notice Jesus himself Jésus proclaims to be the truth. La he was the truth of God in a living person. Il est la de Dieu dans une personne vivant. God himself come to this earth Dieu venu sur la terre. who lived a sinless life Qui a vécu sans péché. who died in sacrifice for our sins Qui mort en sacrifice pour nos péché. who was resurrected to bring us life Qui ressuscité pour nous amener la vie. and he says I moi, and the way, je suis le chemin, the truth, la vérité, the life, et, et, et la, la vie. No man comes to the Father but by me. Nul ne que par moi. Jesus is not one of the ways to heaven. Jésus n'est pas un des chemins pour le Jesus ciel. is not one of many ways to heaven. Jésus n'est pas un des beaucoup de chemins pour le ciel. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jésus est le seul chemin pour la vérité. Some of you have been asking me. Si quelqu'un de vous me, me pose la question. Can someone get to heaven? Est-ce que quelqu'un peut aller au ciel? Without Jesus. Sans Jésus. And the answer is. La réponse est. No. No. No one comes to the Father. Personne n'a bien au Père. But by Jesus. Que par Jésus. And the reason why Jesus, la raison pourquoi Jésus is the only way le seul chemin for any of us to get to heaven ciel, is because he's the only one il est seul that was able to pay the penalty of our sin. Qui payer le, le châtiment de nos péchés. We are sinners. Nous sommes pécheurs. Because we are sinners, Parce que nous sommes pécheurs, we owe a debt. Nous devons un, une dette. The wages of sin le, is death. Le salut du péché, c'est la mort. If we get what we deserve, si nous, nous que nous méritons, we will die nous allons mourir and be eternally separated from God. De Dieu. God does not want that to happen. Dieu ne veut pas que ça, cela arrive. So he sent his son, son fils, who died in our place, qui mort à notre place who tasted death a pris, a la mort for every man, pour tous les hommes, just like we saw this morning. And Jesus now Jésus maintenant is the one and only way il est le seul chemin to heaven. Au ciel. Notice John chapter 10. Jean chapitre 10. In John chapter 10, Jesus said, Jean chapitre 10, Jésus a dit, in verse 9, en verset 9, I am the door. Je suis la porte. By me. Si quelqu'un if any man, if any man enter in, si, uh, si, si moi, he shall be saved. So Jesus is our way. Jésus est notre chemin. He is our door. Notre porte to have eternal life. Avoir la vie éternelle. Verse one says this. Verse one dit ceci. If you try to get to heaven, si vous essayez d'arriver au ciel, some other way than Jesus, un autre moyen que Jésus, the Bible calls you. La Bible vous dit. A thief and a robber. Vous êtes un voleur et uh, un brigand. We must come to accept. If over here I accept it, what Jesus Christ did for us. Jésus fait pour nous. And verse 17, verse 17 puts it like this. This comes to see. Therefore doth my father love me. The pair for them. Because I lay down my life, Parce que je donne ma vie, that I might take it again. Afin de la reprendre. On the cross of Calvary, la croix de Calvary, Jesus laid down his life Jésus a donné sa vie for all of us. Pour nous tous. He was placed in a tomb, placé dans une tombeau, 
But he took his life again. Il a repris sa vie. He came back from the dead. Il est revenu de la mort. I'm not trusting Je ne fais pas confiance someone who is dead qui est mort and still in the grave et, et toujours dans un tombeau to give me life. Pour me donner la vie. I'm trusting the Je one confiance à celui who rose from the dead qui est, qui est ressuscité de la mort and has life. Et qui a la vie. Who has ever done that qui a fait cela other than Jesus? Autre que Jésus. You can turn to Muhammad. You can turn to Krishna. Krishna. You can turn to Buddha. The Buddha. You can turn to anyone else. Uh, but there's only one person. Yeah. Who ever died. Paid our sin debt. Was buried. And rose again from the dead. He is the way. The truth. La vérité. And the life. Et la vie. No man Personne comes to the Father ne peut venir au Père but by him. Que par lui. But when we come to Jesus, quand on vient à Jésus and trust Jesus et fait confiance en Jésus to bring us life, lui donner la vie, he gives it to us. Il nous le donne. Look at verse 28. Verset 28. Jean 10, verset 28. In verse 28, verset 28, Jesus says, Jésus dit, and I give unto them, je le donne, what kind of life? Quel genre de vie? Eternal. La vie éternelle. And he says, Et il dit, you will never perish. Elles ne périront jamais. And neither shall any man pluck you out of my hand. Ils ne périront de ma main. Isn't that exciting? C'est fantastique. When you and I, uh, vous et moi, understand our need, comprends notre besoin, we are sinners. Nous sommes pécheurs in need of a savior. Jesus, God sent Jesus, Dieu a envoyé Jésus, his son, son fils, to be our savior. Jesus died for our sins, Jésus est mort pour nos péchés, was buried and rose again the third day. En et ressuscité le troisième jour. We come to Jesus, nous à Jésus, saying God, en voyant Dieu, I trust in him, je, je, en disant à Dieu, je fais confiance en lui, to be my way to heaven. d'être mon chemin pour le ciel. He then, lui, dans ce cas-là, that very moment, à ce moment-là, gives to us donne, eternal life. La vie éternelle. And he promises, Et il promet, we will never perish. Je ne jamais per périr. And he has a hold of us. Et, et il nous tient. We are in his hand. Nous sommes dans sa main. And then the next verse says, verse dit, we're also found in the Father. Nous sommes appelés, nous sommes aussi dans la, la main du Père. Now, if God the Son has a hold of us, and God the Father has a hold of us, will our salvation ever be lost? Yes or no? We or no? It never will, will it? So Jesus is a wonderful Savior. Donc Jésus est un sauveur merveilleux. Where can we go to find the truth? Où est-ce qu'on peut aller trouver la vérité? We go to God. On va à Dieu. We go to God's Word. On va à sa parole. We go to the person of Jesus Christ. On va à la personne de Jésus Christ. John chapter 3. Jean chapitre 3. And in John chapter 3. Jean chapitre 3. Look at verse 36. The Bible tells us, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Believing on the Son in the biblical sense means you are trusting in Him. You are depending upon Him. You are relying upon Him. You have such confidence and trust in Jesus vous avez confiance et en Jésus, that if he fails to get you to heaven, que si lui, il pas à vous au ciel, you have nothing else to fall back upon. You're totally trusting him. On fait confiance entièrement en lui. 
One thing, illustration. Une illustration. One thing, une chose, you'll never see me do. Que vous jamais me voir faire. Is jump out of an airplane. De, de sauter de l'avion. <laughs> On the way to Paris, en, en chemin pour la Paris, there was a soldier il y a soldat, across the aisle from me. De l'autre rang. He is in an army unit il est dans une unité de armée, that jumps out of airplanes. Il de, des avions. I'll never do that. Moi, je ferai pas ça. The only way I'll do that seule façon je ferai ça, is if you throw me out. Si on le, le balance. <laughs> When people jump out of an airplane, Quand saute un avion, what do they have strapped to their back? Ils ont sur leur dos? A parachute. A parachute. Oui. And when they pull that string, like a tear of a guard, the parachute opens. The parachute s'ouvre. What are they trusting to get them to the ground? De, de quoi ils font confiance pour arriver jusqu'à par terre? The parachute. The parachute. Do they have anything else to trust in? Est-ce qu'ils ont autre chose dans laquelle ils peuvent mettre confiance? No. Second parachute. Second parachute. <laughs> Still part of the parachute. <laughs> right, Mark? Trusting totally in that parachute. Entièrement confiance dans le parachute. That's what it means to believe in Jesus. C'est ça que ça veut dire de croire en Jésus. I'm trusting in Jesus. C'est confiance en Jésus. What he did on the cross. C'est qu'il a fait sur la croix. And that alone, et ça, tout seul, and nothing else, rien to be my way to heaven. Mon chemin pour le ciel. And when I trust Jesus like Quand that, fait confiance en Jésus comme ça, verse 36, verse 36 says, dit, I have everlasting life. La vie éternelle. But the verse goes on. Le verset continue. It goes on to speak of those that, la Bible, ce verset parle de ceux qui, that believe not on the qui Son, ne croient pas au Fils, those who are not trusting ceux qui Jesus, ne font pas confiance en Jésus. The Bible says, the, dit, the wrath of God the colère de Dieu abideth on the earth. So while we have uh, nous avons everlasting la vie éternelle, they have no hope. You know, pas, pas d'espoir. And if they die without Christ, si meurent sans Christ, they will perish. Ils vont périr. Where do we go to find the truth? Où est-ce qu'on va aller pour trouver la vérité? We go to God. On va à Dieu. His word. Sa parole. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. But then number two. Et puis la deuxième chose. People ought to be able to come to the church. Les gens devaient pouvoir venir à l'église. To hear the truth. Pour entendre la vérité. Let's go back to Jeremiah. Jeremie. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 7. Jérémie chapitre 7. Where in, the, where in this world are people going to go? Où dans ce monde les gens peuvent aller? To find the truth. Pour trouver la vérité. Well, they can go to God. Ils peuvent aller à Dieu. They can go to God's word. À sa parole. They can go to God's son. À, à son fils. And they also should be able to come to the house of God. Ils doivent aussi pouvoir venir dans la maison de Dieu. The message, the message that Jeremiah was giving a donné, actually began a commencé, not in chapter 9. Chapitre 9. If you want to understand all of Jeremiah's message, si vous voulez tout le message de Jeremiah, you, have, you have to read Jeremiah chapter 7, il faut lire chapitre 7 chapter 8, chapter, 8 chapter, 9, chapter 9, and chapter 10. Et 10. That's his message, Ça, c'est son message that God told him to deliver. And it's interesting, intéressant. as God told Jeremiah Quand Dieu a dit à Jérémie, to deliver this message to Judah, ce message à Judah, that he told him il, il lui a dit, to go down to the gate of the temple, à la porte du temple to deliver it. Pour le dire. Notice chapter 7, Chapitre 7 verse 1. Verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah la parole fut adressée à Jérémie, from the Lord, de la part de l'Éternel, saying, en ces mots, Stand in the, in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word. So God purposely 
took Jeremiah Jeremy to the gate of the house of the Lord. La porte de, de la maison de l'Éternel. And there he told Jeremiah. Là, il a dit à Jérémie, Jeremiah, it is there I want you to proclaim this message to Judah. C'est là, Jérémie, c'est là où je veux que tu proclames ce message à Judah. Now understand. Comprenons bien. The temple, the temple, was the Jews' place of worship. C'est le lieu de l'adoration des, des Juifs. So as people came to worship at the temple, they would hear this message that Jeremiah was proclaiming. Today, our place of worship is not the temple. Our place of worship is the house of God. We sometimes refer to as it to it, it as the church or the assembly or the hall we come to the hall to hear the truth of God's word we but unfortunately there are many halls where the truth of God's word la vérité, la parole de Dieu, is not being preached. Les, les, les pas but that was never God's intent. Mais pas ça, de Dieu. Take your Bibles and turn. Cherchons dans nos Bibles. First Timothy chapter Timothy, 3. Timothy chapter 3. First Timothy chapter three. About halfway through the verse. The Bible speaks of the house of God. Can you find that in your verse? Verse fifteen. About halfway down. It speaks of the house of God. And it says, which is the church of the living God. And notice the end of the verse. It calls the church of the living God the pillar and ground of the truth. So what does God expect from the church? To be a place where people can go to find the truth. We had a lady the other day that came to the house of God, the hall, the hall. She was Islam. And after the service, she said this. I came to hear the difference between Islam and Christianity. What was she looking for? The truth. It is true. C'est vrai that many churches have forsaken the truth. Ont abandonné la vérité. And the Bible predicted that. La Bible l'a annoncé. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. Verses 3 and 4. Timothy chapter 4, verses 3. Car il viendrait un temps où les hommes ne se porteront pas à sa doctrine, mais ayant de la démangeaison d'entendre des choses agréables, ils se donneront une foule de docteurs selon leur propre désir, détournant l'oreille de la vérité et se tournant vers les fables. So God's plan for the church was to be a place where people could come to hear the truth. Unfortunately, that's not always the case today. But you have a church and you have a pastor that preaches the truth. Be very thankful. That's why you're reconnaissant. Don't take it for granted. Pray for your pastor. Stay united. 
and stand for the truth. Et tenir pour la vérité. Because there's a million people Parce y a million de personnes in this community dans cette communauté that need to walk through the doors qui ont besoin de par la porte of this hall de cette salle to hear the truth. Entendre la vérité. So where do we go to find the truth? Où est-ce qu'on allait pour trouver la vérité? We can go to God. On peut aller à Dieu. We can go to God's word. À sa parole. We can go to Jesus Christ. À Jésus Christ. We can come to the church. On peut venir dans l'église. And then number three. Numéro trois. There ought to be some valiant men and women. Il doit y avoir des hommes et des femmes puissants in this nation, dans cette nation who are willing to stand up qui sont prêts à se tenir debout and speak for the truth. Et parler de la vérité. Now we get very personal. Maintenant, je veux personnel. If you know Jesus as your Savior, si vous connaissez Jésus comme votre sauveur, God is looking for you. Dieu vous cherche to be a valiant man. D'être un homme, une femme, who will stand for the truth? Who will speak out the truth? It's part of what the Bible says. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. God wants to use you. Dieu veut vous utiliser. God wants to use me. Dieu veut me utiliser. To love people. De aimer les gens. To care for the world around us. De, de tenir à cœur le monde autour de nous. To not let the multitudes die without Christ. Ne pas laisser les multitudes meurent sans Christ. Never having an opportunity. Jamais eu l'opportunité. To hear the truth. D'entendre la vérité. In a verbal witness. Dans une façon verbale. About Jesus Christ. De Jésus Christ. What did Jesus say to his disciples? Que Jésus dit à ses disciples? Lift up your eyes uh, les yeux. and look on the fields. For they are white Parce ils sont blanches. already to harvest. You cannot say to me, Vous pouvez pas me dire. there's nobody in Lille, France, Il y a personne en Lille, France that needs Jesus. Qui a besoin de Jésus. Almost everybody in this town needs Jesus. And God wants you to be a valiant man, to be a valiant woman, and stand for the truth, and speak out the truth. It's part of what he said to his disciples. C'est quelque chose que Jésus dit à ses disciples. Go ye into all the world. D'aller partout dans le monde. And preach the gospel to every creature. À tous les créatures. Let's take our Bibles. Cherchons dans nos Bibles. And turn to Romans chapter 1. Romains au chapitre 1. May we allow God to speak to our hearts. Que nous laissons Dieu parler à nos cœurs. Here this afternoon. Ici cet après-midi. In Romans chapter 1. Romains chapitre 1. The Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. In verse 13, verse 13, is expressing his desire to go to Rome. And at the end of the verse, he says, I want to come to Rome that I may have some fruit among you. Also, even as among other Gentiles. So he was looking forward to going to Rome. To be able to preach the gospel. To be able to win people to Christ. That he might have some fruit. Some souls that he had won to Christ. There at Rome. He says in verse 14. I am dead. 
both to the Greeks Au Grec, and to the barbarians, et aux barbares, both to the wise aux savants, and to the unwise. Et, et aux ignorants. When Paul looked at the world, Quand Paul regardait le monde, it didn't matter to him important pour lui, whether they were educated éduqué, or uneducated. Uh, uh, pas éduqué. Whether they knew some truth about God si un peu sur Dieu, or they were paganistic. Tout les païens, he saw them all et les voyait tous, as people who needed Jesus. Et ont besoin de Jésus. We look around the world. We see people walking well, les gens qui marchent, with fine clothes. Bien habillés, and we see beggars et nous voyons des mendiants, who have nothing. Qui God loves them both. Dieu les aime les deux. And we should care. Et nous devrions le prendre à cœur. For everyone we see. Pour tout le monde qu'on voit. And recognize. Et reconnaître. That if we are believers in Jesus Christ. Nous sommes croyants en Jésus Christ. We owe every one of those people. Nous devons à chacun de ces gens. A debt. Une, une, une dette. And our debt. Notre dette is to tell them about Jesus. If you are saved, you are saved because someone told you about Jesus. You have to hear the message before you can believe the message. And to hear the message, someone has to tell you. God is looking. For some valiant men and some valiant women who will stand up, who will speak out the truth to this needy land. Paul goes on Paul continue in verse 15 by saying this So, as much as in me is, um, I am ready. Je suis prêt to preach the gospel to, l'évangile to you that are at Rome also. À vous qui êtes à Rome. And so he says, Et donc il dit, I'm ready to take the message. Je suis prêt à prendre, prendre le message. And he doesn't use excuses il s'en sert pas des excuses like we often do. Comme nous faisons trop souvent. We often tell ourselves souvent nous nous disons nous-mêmes when I learn more, Moi, je saurai plus. I'll talk to people. Je vais parler. When I get to the place, Moi, je suis arrivé. I'm not afraid. Où je n'ai pas peur. I'll start doing it. Je commence à faire. We use all kinds of Nous avons plein excuses, excuses for not standing up de ne pas tenir and speaking out et parler the truth. La vérité. And Paul's attitude was so as much as in me is. I may not be much. I may not have much. I may stutter. I may stumble all the I may make a fool of myself. But I'm going to take the Bible. And I'm going to open it. And I'm going to tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Verse 16. Verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Christ. For it is the power of God C'est la puissance de Dieu unto salvation pour le salut to everyone that believes to, croit, to the Jew first the premier, and also to the Greek. Du Greek. Now I'm going to be very personal personal and very direct. Très direct. Have you been ashamed Est-ce que vous avez eu honte of Jesus Christ. de Jésus Christ? God's looking Je cherche un peu de valiant men et some valiant women de valiant femmes qui vont se tenir et parler avec tout leur incapacité et tout leur incapacité avec tout leur incapacité et tout leur incapacité with all of their hang-ups, with all of the difficulties they have in the world, and just say, God, I, dear, I want people to know je veux que les gens connaissent about your son. Uh, ton fils. Let me 
Let, let someone tell them, learn dear about Jesus. Oh, see, see, see. You see, my third point is this. Point, this Where can people go to find the truth? Where can people go to find the truth? Well, they can go to to God. Parler à Dieu. They can go to the Bible. Alors, à la Bible. They can go to Jesus. À Jésus. They ought to be able to go to the church. Et pour, pour pouvoir aller à l'église. Although there's one over there. Il y a un autre là derrière. That you'll never find the truth. Et vous n'allez pas trouver la vérité. Oui. Qu'est-ce que c'est? And here's my point. Voilà le point. They should also be able to be aussi pouvoir to come to you. To venir à vous. They should be able to go to you. To be pouvoir aller à vous and find a person. Et trouver une personne who can give them qui peuvent the truth. Leur donner la vérité. Jesus, Jésus, in John chapter 8, made a statement. He was speaking to some people about knowing the truth. And he said this, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The only hope for this nation Your nation, votre nation, my nation, ma nation, is the truth. C'est la vérité of God's word, de la parole de Dieu, and Jesus Christ. Et Jésus Christ. May God look upon us. Que Dieu nous regarde and find some people et trouve des gens who will be valiant. Qui sont prêts à vaillant for the truth. Pour la vérité. Let's pray. On va prier. While heads are bowed, avec les têtes baissées and eyes are closed, et les yeux fermés. Here this afternoon, Ici cet après-midi, I wonder if God has spoken to your heart. Je demande si Dieu a parlé à votre cœur. And you have realized Et vous vous rendez compte that God wants to use you que Dieu veut vous utiliser to be valiant for the être truth. Pour la vérité. And I wonder here this afternoon Et je demande si cet après-midi, if there is anyone si il y a quelqu'un who would, would be willing to say est prêt à dire, God, Dieu, I'm going to be your spokesman. Je vais être votre porte-parole. I'm going to start speaking. Je vais commencer à parler to people about you. Aux gens à ton sujet. I want you to use me. Je veux que vous m'utilisez to be valiant for the truth. D'être valiant pour la vérité. And you would just say in just a moment. Et vous direz dans quelques instants. By a way of raising your hand. Par en levant la main. Chris. Chris. Here this afternoon. Cette ici cet après-midi. God has spoken to my heart about my need de mon besoin to be valiant for the truth. And I'm making the decision right here this afternoon before God devant Dieu, that I'm going to use my life ma vie to begin to tell others aux about Jesus Christ. And I want you Et je veux que vous to pray for me et prier pour moi that God would help me. If that's your prayer, si votre prière cet après-midi, if that is your decision, si c'est votre décision, simply between you and God, simplement entre vous et Dieu, not between you and me, pas entre moi et vous, but between you and God, mais entre vous et Dieu, you're telling God, vous dites à Dieu, God, Dieu, I want to be your spokesman. Je veux être votre porte-parole. I want to tell others about Jesus. Je veux dire aux autres au sujet de Jésus. So they'll know the truth. Pour qu'ils connaissent la vérité. And I'm dedicating myself Et to them. Et je me donne right here today. À Dieu ici aujourd'hui. And I mean business. Et je suis sérieux. If that's you. Si ça c'est vous. Would you slip your hand up so I can pray for you? Anyone making that decision? Yes, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you and you. Yes, God bless you and you. God bless you and you. Yes. You're saying, pray for me. Priez I'm making moi. that decision. Je pense cette décision. To stand for the truth. De tenir pour la vérité. God bless you. God bless you. You can put your hands down. Merci les mains. I'm going to pray in just a moment. Je vais prier dans un instant. And after I pray, Après que je prie, your pastor will dismiss the service. Votre pasteur va terminer la réunion. 
And I want to encourage you. Je vous encourager. If you raised your hand today, si la main, saying that you wanted to be valiant for the truth, en disant que vous voulez être valiant pour la vérité, I want you to come up and tell your pastor. Je veux que vous veniez dire à votre pasteur that you made that decision. Je vous ai fait une décision. Let him know you made that decision. Qu'il qu sache que vous avez fait une telle décision. That way he can pray for you. Comme ça, il peut prier pour vous. He can encourage you. Il peut vous encourager. And he can stand with you. Il peut tenir avec vous. Father, Père, we thank you Merci. for working in people's hearts and lives here this, this afternoon. Ici, cet après-midi. And Lord, I pray for everyone Et Dieu, je te prie pour chacun who raised their hand here today. Là, Lord God, I pray that you would help them bon, mon Dieu, je te prie que tu les aides to be strong être fort in the grace that's in Christ Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would give them je prie, Seigneur, que tu me donnes Holy Spirit boldness. Le, le, le courage du Saint Esprit. Help them to stand. À tenir. Help them to speak out. À tenir, à parler. Help them to be valiant for Help the truth. Pour la and may you use this group of people et, et ce, ce group de to further the gospel of Jesus Christ de, de de Jésus Christ in this land of France. Dans ce, ce pays de la France. And may many people come to know Jesus as their Savior through the witness of these people. And we will praise you and give you much glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Voilà. Le Seigneur utilise chacun de nous pour être témoin de parler de lui. Euh, parlons encore avec, euh, avec Chris, parce qu'il est là. Euh, si je dis vendredi samedi, vous êtes disponible, euh, pour ceux qui sont disponibles, les cours qui vont être dispensés vont être très intéressants. Euh, de 14h à 15h, non, de 17h. 14h à 17h, excusez-moi. Euh, et puis, euh, le Seigneur bénit chacun. Le Seigneur utilise. Euh, ce qu'on a entendu à parler dans le cœur et que nous puissions le glorifier. Amen.